hype peeps, it's your girl Kim with the hype 411. After so much talk that the fans love him and the supposedly large Sparta following, you would never imagine that a concert headlined by Tommy Lee would have no audience. This past weekend, he got a message loud and clear from the Trinidadian fans when a concert which he was to be a headline act was called quits when up to 2 a.m. the venue was empty with only about 10 patrons turning out to see the artist. Speaking with a Trinidad native, she explained that, quote, it's hard to get Trinis to stand together, but we sent a loud message. We don't accept and endorse the demonic behavior of Tommy Lee. He should not be on our island, end quote. A Trinidadian promoter also stated a possible cause of the non-attendance to the concert could be that the location wasn't the best. It was staged in the country when most of the people that listen to Tommy Lee, you know, the bad boys and the high school kids, are in the city. The promoter added that, quote, since most Batman areas in Trinidad are warring right now, nobody's coming out anyway, end quote. This is the second bit of rejection that Tommy Lee has gotten after recently being rejected a Canadian visa to perform overseas. Wonder if he's second guessing this Uncle Demon foolishness now. Just when we were getting all the positive images these last few months, we'll be taking quite a beating as the local lottery scamming situation goes global with a major feature on American networks and goes before the U.S. Senate. The Senate hearing will include Kim Nichols, the daughter of an elderly scam victim from the state of Maine, sharing her father's experience, as well as U.S. legislators asking bureaucrats to explain what they've been doing to tackle the scams. Veteran American news anchor Dan Rather visited Jamaica to produce a segment of a documentary on the lottery scam and has aired part one of the feature. Earlier this year, the issue got heat with reports that Jamaican phone scammers had targeted approximately 200 elderly victims for more than 13 million US dollars across the states of Maine, New Hampshire and Vermont in the last seven months of 2012. Pity that it had to go this far, but do you think that enough is being done on our side to curb the scamming issue? Tell us what you think on Facebook, Twitter and BBM. On the international circuit, Tiger Woods is back on the prowl with a new bell. His new leading lady is athlete Lindsay Vaughn and ironically, they admitted to being together long after the media houses suspected it. Recently, the two posted some coupled photos to their social media pages. And of course, this made many persons kind of wonder if the relationship is really new or if they've been together for quite a while. Tiger and Lindsay posted the dating confession at the same time with Tiger almost jokingly saying, quote, something nice that's happened off the course was meeting Lindsay Vaughn, end quote. His post continued saying that he and Lindsay have been friends for some time, but over the last few months, they became very close and are now dating. Lindsay posted a very similar comment saying that, quote, our relationship evolved from a friendship into something more over these last few months, and it has made me very happy, end quote. This confession comes after Tiger sent his private jet to pick up Lindsay from an event. Like, that wouldn't have surely blown the Secret Lovers cover anyway. Okay, hype peeps, I'm your girl Kim, and that's the hype for 1-1.